I'm going to tell you a story, so listen close. Some people think it's real. You can believe it if you want. About a year ago, Frank Selwood hung this painting here, where his mirror used to be. No matter how hard things got, he couldn't bring himself to sell it. The mirror used to make the room look bigger, but it was just an illusion. The problem was Frank had a habit of looking into it. See, when you stand in front of a mirror too long, you start to become unrecognisable to yourself, like you're looking at a self-portrait you painted in another life, another time. You begin to see beyond the obvious features. You begin to see the truth. And then you can't look away. goes that Frank was invited to spend three nights in the country with his partner Selena and her ex-husband Paul. For some reason he agreed. Come on. Dad, Mum's here. Frank only knew Paul by reputation. He was an art dealer who leaned toward expressionism. The two of them had a daughter named Natasha, who Selena rarely spoke about. Even when they were together it was hard to believe they were mother and daughter. They acted more like sisters who hadn't spoken to each other in years because of a disagreement. How long are you going to stay? <laughs> what? What kind of man would invite his ex-wife and her lover to his house for the weekend? And why? Peter Booth. Is this what he's been working on? It's not for sale. I've already got a buyer. I just thought you'd like to see it before I ship it off to Beijing. I give you 600,000. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. How much do you want for it? Frank had let his guard down, and it didn't take long for Paul to name his price, the sum total of which would leave him with a sizable mortgage. Serious. Most men would have lost their nerve. Most men would have wilted and walked away. But Frank had stared into the painting just a moment too long. It's his best work yet. Really? Why do you think? The, the texture. I don't know how he did it. So bold. Very bold. It's like nothing he's done before. He's gone to a whole new plateau. It's a bloody painting. Well, you, uh, you either get it or you don't. It's not something you can describe with words. While Frank enjoyed himself with a young man's hunger, he couldn't help thinking. Not everyone gets the chance to have what they most desire. The next morning at breakfast, Paul acted like nothing had happened, and Selena caught herself adoring him all over again, when perhaps she should have been watching Natasha, who kept trying to get Frank's attention. Frank returned to the painting again and again, and each time he stood there, the smell of paint in the air, he felt something different. Exhilaration, fear, doubt, and finally, remorse. So this is your choice? Frank? Have you thought this through? No, of course you haven't. Because this isn't you talking. <laughs> what did he say to you? So 
Alina. I just thought you'd like to see it before I ship it off to Beijing. <laughs> I give you 600,000. It's a bloody painting. Frank! Is this what he's been working on? Sorry to disappoint you. So this is your choice? What did he say to you? Tell her it's over. When he finally realised what he was doing, the painting was unrecognisable. All of a sudden, he felt lightheaded, lost. He didn't even see Natasha standing in the doorway at first. He didn't see her face, frozen with the growing realisation of what he had done. Everything Paul had sold him was fake. Or was it? Neither one of them wanted to admit that the painting was real. But neither one of them, in that moment, had the will to look away. <laughs> 